Hi everybody, it's Liz here again and today I want to show you how to create uh, Google Plus circles. Yesterday's video was all about creating a Gmail uh, account because you have to have a Gmail account in order to access Google Plus. So we're going to start with your very first emails at your new Gmail account. So here we go. Over here you will see that um, your Gmail account comes up with three uh, welcome emails from the Gmail team and that's fine until you start sending Gmail to people uh, emails to people from this address you're not going to have anything happening here so what you need to look for is this plus and your name up the top because it, it will automatically connect to Google Plus for you once you've got your Gmail address so you click on there and up comes Google Plus now oh, things have happened since I did this email address, people have sent me things. I don't know who these people are, but this is where you'll see your main news feed. Okay, if you're familiar with Facebook, it's very, very similar. All right, okay, to your news feed section. Now, the first thing you're going to do is going over here to the home section and you've got to go down to profile. Now, please put a picture in. Now, I'm not doing it for the purpose of this video because um, I'm going to delete this email address um, when I finish the series of videos but please put your picture in and um, people like to see who they're talking to it's no use having a picture of your favorite dog or a, a, you know your grandkids there although that's very lovely it's you they want to see so that's my bit of advice so go back here to about and you need to fill in here um, as much as you can about yourself because that's what people want to know they want to when they click on here on your face or your name they want to be able to find out all about you so over here in this story section um, it, this is your story so you just edit that and um, put in as much as you can now I've quickly put in where I went to high school okay um, but that's all I've done um, Google Plus has populated my dates that I put in earlier on for my Gmail address and over here if you have people in your circles and things and uh, it'll come up or uh, you can add them there here I've just quickly put in online marketer but that's only one of the many things I do so um, I I can add other things there later so fill that out as much as you can back we go over here and I want you to go down to people all right I haven't got any circles yet down the bottom um, down the bottom um, of your page uh, Google Plus gives you circles it actually gives you four or five I've deleted a couple um, but if you want to find people that you know it will suggest lots of people to you from the information that you've actually put in um, on your profile page I've put in Nana Wadding High School so here they are they've come up with all the people that they know who use Google Plus that went to Nana Wadding High School okay all right over here along the top you uh, have got these four headings uh, here is a list of all the people who've got you in their circles well I haven't got anyone yet because I've only just opened this up but this is the one I want you to click on today go to your circles you will have been given four or five but you can delete them by right clicking on the circle all right so you go right click and it gives you the option and yes and watch what happens off it goes it's kind of cool and you can add circles all right now up the top here is where you can name your circle so I'm going to call this one family with a capital and I always I mean you can start adding people but then if you forget to create to, to click on this you're going to lose everybody so I always create my circle first okay then I've got I'm a member of the Internet Lifestyle Network so I'm going to write ILN right create empty circle I'm going to put in I'm also a member of the Y movement so I'm going to create empty circle I'm just going to put in Nunawading High because that's where I went to school okay etc 
So you can have as many circles as you like. But it's a really good idea to um, start dividing all your contacts up into their particular groups in their circles from the start because if you put everybody in a, a circle called friends in the end you're going to think oh well, they were friends from um, maybe my high school days and these were these were friends from I've just met them online this year and these are friends and I no longer sort of contact with them very regularly you need to start sorting them into into appropriate named circles good habit to get into okay so that's how you create a circle now, to populate a circle, I'm going to choose none of wadding, so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to find people. Go back to find people. Now, they've already come up with these. Now, I don't know these people, not that I know of, but what you do, look, I'm there. I might, I might add myself. I'll add myself. <laughs> I'm in my circle, see? Goes up to none of wadding high. I don't know um, these people at all. So I apologise if I've offended anybody um, here, but um, I will probably put all these in eventually. But I think I'll just click on this person, see who they are. Okay. Yes. All right. And you, you can see a little bit about her. About her here. Okay. Photos. She might have photos and things in. Okay. So I'm going to add to circles. So all you have to do is go add to circles and up will come this and you just tick the circles you want to put her in and there she's already in none of wadding high okay um, I'll go back so that's easy easy to do easy peasy I think so now it comes up with none of wadding and I've got two people in there myself and Linda okay so that's all you have to do uh, you have to um, find people if you know the people's names you can actually um, search for anyone up here so just say you know the name of somebody you type their name in Jenny I hope this is okay um, and I'm going to put her in so you click on that and I'm going to put her in that's her add to circles I'm going to put her in the Y movement and I'm going to put her in ILN. Okay, so she's now in two circles. Okay, automatically in. No worries at all. So that's how you add people to circles and that's how you create circles. Not hard at all. There's more details written for you below this post and I uh, hope that's made things a little bit easier for you to understand and tomorrow I'm going to show you how to put in shared circles. Another little tidbit of information for you. Okay then, bye for now.